Hey guys, it's Larsen here. I've decided to break down the video I made the other day. I made a video of how I found a mirror in just about two days time. And one of those methods was harvest crafting. And I've decided I want to break down that video into sections and now like just briefly explain just what harvest is, the sad state of it in 3.14 because it's definitely not what it was. But I've still probably profited over 100 exalted orbs just from the harvest mechanic. I don't know anything about crafting. It's purely crafting for profit. And um, yeah, I'll just share it with you. Um, I showed you what kind of bases I had in the last video, but this time around, I have made a spreadsheet that I will be sharing with you guys. So what class of jewels I have, I have, um, this is my lightning. This is my minion. This is my cold. And these are my fire ones that I currently have. And for the flyer jewels, always to reforge fire cold lightning and the minion one i reforged life with and what are you looking for you're looking for two prefixes that are passive skills and one good suffix and one example of that could be for the lightning jewel or the lightning cluster jewel is uh scintilling idea with storm drinker and if you get for example doriani's lesson it's like 15 exalted orbs if you get disorienting display it's at least 10 and why did destruction maybe a little bit less but that is the gist of it if you hit the two best ones plus something over here it's uh, really, really good. And if you hit, uh, let's say, since sitting at the air and something not Storm Drinker, it might be a little bit less, but that is the gist of it. If you hit the two prefixes, the way Cluster Jewels work are this is the one with increased lightning damage. You have a bunch of lightning modifiers on this side. And on the suffixes, it would be the exact same if I go to a large Cluster Jewel with increased cold damage or fire damage. It's uh, different for the minion one, but let's just take the elemental one. So here we have. Increased cold damage, and here you see the Sorrentine display, Orianish lesson, and widespread destruction again in the suffix session of the jewel. But over here we have all the cold modifiers. So as of right now, Blanket of Snow, which is 10% cold penetration, and Blast Freeze are the two big ones. And if you hit one of those with the Orianish lessons, it's really big money. Or if you get some of the other ones, it's still really good, right? But you can still hit some of the other cold mods times two plus one of these suffixes and really make some some solid profits. All right, so I have for the minion jewel, I had life. This is my minion jewel. For body armors, I have a 85 Crusader body armor. It doesn't have to be a status gap. I just think they look pretty. I like having a pretty thing in my moment, so it's, I'm a, I'm a weep, whatever. Yeah, 85 Crusader body armor. If you hit tier one fist explodey, um, prior to making this video, it's been between four to five exalted orbs. And the reason why it's so expensive is people just take that body armor, slam their waking up on it, and put it onto the item that they desire. And the explodey is really, really hard to hit, so I rerolled physical and 85 crusader body armors. And that's really simple. You hit that, it's money. It's uh, really, really easy. One thing I'm trying to do now, because I was looking for something to do with caster mod, and on level 8, I level 80 rings that are hunter influenced, you can get elemental weakness and hit. Or you can get despair and hit by reforging with caster so what you would be looking for here i'll bring up the excel i've written you want to hit of course one of either of these curses some life and some resistances and you'll probably profit these rings are really cheap they're 5c or 10c at most and if you hit a good curse with some life and rest you'll make at least an exalted but up to multiple exalted orbs that's the chaos or the caster one now for chaos uh you could maybe do cluster jewels i've just been doing hunter amulets as well and what I'm looking for in my hunt amulets is um, plus one to all chaos skills, chaos damage over time, and you hit some lies and some chaos rest. You usually make around an exalted orb or two, and these next cost about um, five chaos orbs each to get, so it's pretty pretty cheap. And for defense, I haven't done this until now, but uh, I was thinking, wrapping my head around, what is something popular, right? What is something popular that people will want? And the most uh, popular ES thing there is on shields is recover energy shield when you block. Now, I have it on this shield, but it's not high enough ES. I wouldn't try to sell this. The base costs like 30C because I had an ID level 85. But I looked it up. You only really need item level 80. At 84, you can unlock some increased spell damage. But it's not a big deal. But um, what you're looking for here, if you hit 300 ES with nothing else, you make a few exalted orbs. If you hit 250 ES with recovery and plug, which I had like, you know, 70 more ES in this shield, it would have been at least 3 to 4 exalted orbs. So having this slamming your defense and on, if you just hit good energy shield, you make a pretty good profit. And you know, if you hit a good energy shield with recovery and block plus something else, you're uh you're having a good day. Then you can, you know, 
lean back, uh, start up the cigar, and you know, say ha ha ha. Yep. All right. So the reforges I don't really have any good for is uh, attack. I tried to look at all the attack cluster jewels, which is like increased physical damage, increased attack damage, increased with two-handed swords, increased two-handed axes, and if you hit two good prefixes with a good suffix, they're like one or two exalted orbs, which sure it's just not very fun right you never have the chance of hitting the yo you know you do never get like a 5x or 10x or 15x ones from my research so i didn't find anything fun for attack i picked up one of these switch and eventuality rod and i think it had to be eye level 83 to uh, hit all the tier one fist things but it's an expensive base and if you look at weapons and their attack mods there's a million i just wanted to try it uh, i haven't done much with it but for now i'm gonna say i don't have anything good for attack crit i haven't found anything where you can make like really easy consistent money without doing a lot of trading and for speed i invested into a pair of level 85 two-tone hunter boots and it's just expensive right it's like two or three exalted offs for the base and i've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reforges now and i just haven't hit tailwind once so i don't recommend investing into that if you want you can try and pick up a cheap pair of uh, hunter boots that are not two-toned and see if you can hit something with the uh, movement speed or tailwind or whatnot but I just haven't been successful so i don't include it and for crit i don't know neither so these are all the bases that i use for harvest but things that are also really good you can make some money from is uh, if you have your elder fragments if you have these you can turn them into these so the elder ones are about 15 chaos but as you can see over here the shaper ubi elder fragments are <laughs> almost four times the price right uh, if even more five times six times the price so if you have a few of these, you can maybe get lucky and turn them into shaper ones. Um, you can turn offering from the goddess into gift of the goddess. I don't have any right now, but gift of the goddess, you turn 1C into 55C. Uh, oils, fossils, catalyst. Um, I mean, a good fossil to use is, for example, dense. Dense is not the good one. Let's see if we can find a good one. A fertile fossil is 1C. And you can turn it into some of the ones that are a little bit more. For example, a perfect fossil, you make 6C per. And, you know, it's just a stack of 20 and there's... Find one for 1c and try to make it into something that's a little bit more right it's just it's uh you run into them and it's nice to have and the same for catalyst which is something that's pretty common too uh where is my tap my tap is somewhere it's here it's the one with the brain i found that noxious right now is the cheapest together with imbued so if you have one of these and you can turn them into a fertile or a prismatic for example you make some money um, and that's about it, right? You just find the cheapest catalyst. Right now, it's imbued and noxious. And if you turn them into anything else, you make a little bit of profit. And you know, the same with all. So if you have a bunch of clears or sepials, you might as well try and convert them into the 10 stack of silver or gold. And if you get really lucky, um, there are a few more crafts, you know, if you find key prefixes, reward suffix, or keep suffix, reward prefixes, they will sell for a good amount on the TFT Discord. If you get the augment to remove ads, they will sell really good. Um, another Just thing that one, might not be obvious, but might be obvious is, um, you know, the fracture is pretty good. I have some rerolls saved up or reforged non-blue to any color. Usually it's like one exalted up as well, right? And then I've just thought of a bunch of few things because why not? But, um, that is what I'm doing with my harvest at the moment. It is, it is not the beast that it used to be, but just doing these things here and, you know, turning your fossils, your owls, your fragments into a little bit more sometimes is, uh, it's really really good money and there's one thing i want to touch uh, i run most of my harvest i get them just from naturally here don't run them on my map device and you can also run ritual altars ritual altars are pretty good um if you pick up all the sprinters that you see from your rituals which are these ritual sprinters here right if you get a ritual you usually pick up about 50 of them and just one ritual vessel alone is 20 wait that's wrong it's at least 30 c i don't know why the thing is lying right but if you look, I've been selling them for 30 to 35 C a piece. So, you know, you, you pick up a ton of these while you're running your um, running your uh, harvest over here. And if you want to make even more money, you can take these ritual vessels and you can fill them up. So whenever you run into a, uh, a ritual, you run it. Then you can click the ritual onto the already run ritual. And, you know, if you get four rituals in a map, you can fill up four, four blood vessels. And at the time of making this video, it's like if you were to buy... The ritual vessel it would be 30 to 35 k up soaps but if you want to buy the blood filled ones they're um they're a little bit more expensive they're about 50 k up a piece so if you pick up a lot of blood vessels you fill them up then it's uh, a lot of extra added income by just running a uh, waldo and filling up some blood vessels that you can 
either buy up a little bit to fill up it in solo you can just find yourself by running um running rituals which was really fun but yeah that is how i am currently harvest crafting it is uh it's really exciting when it hits but there's a lot of you know <laughs> a lot of a uh, lot of breaks between the excitement sometimes you can be really lucky or you can be lucky for a bit but hopefully this video can give you a little bit of purpose on what to do with your harvest if you just are looking to make profits from it and that is it that's all i wanted to do i hope i see you guys in the next video if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel i will do plenty more guides i'll leave links in the description to the low to the spreadsheet so you can keep this for yourself I'll leave a link to my Discord so you can come and ask any questions when I'm not around. And if you want to ask questions while I'm around, I stream every day and I'll leave a link to that as well. Guys, I hope you have a fantastic week and bye-bye.